everybody, Pedro. Today we're going to talk about a new brand, Rizzini. Rizzini is an Italian company, it's been around for a long time. Most of you know the B Rizzinis that we've been shooting. Nowadays, um, I want to run you through the options because it looks a lot more complicated than actually it is. So, Rizzini makes three guns. They make a side-by-side -side action on the BR550. They make a over-under action, which is the BR110. And they make a BR460 action, which is their competition gun model. So, step closer, let's take a look at it. First is we have the BR550. It is a round body action. Um, you also are going to see the BR52. Same internals, changes the outside. It's a grade, basically, of the 550. You're going to get a side plate and nicer wood. Uh, you have the standard lockup on our over side by side on the bottom. Very strong lockup on this gun. Side by sides have very good strong lockup, and the triggers on them are very good and crisp. Very little to no no travel. Look at that. A great side by side. Next, we go to the BR110, and that's where it gets confusing. So, the BR110 action. Okay, you have a bottom lockup here, standard ejectors. Pretty standard, more very closely to the Cesar Guarini line too with the bottom lockup. Now on the BR-110, that's where it can get a little bit confusing. Now this action is where I would say out of the, we probably have 25 different models, 20 models are in this action. We're gonna go over it in a little bit, okay? Um, again, I have one of these guns, I think it's phenomenal. For the price point, you can't go wrong. Uh, all of the customers that have chosen to go with them are being extremely happy. Some even go with different gauges of the same gun. We're going to get to that too. On this BR-110, you're going to have a flat rib. You can have the BR-110X, which has a step rib. And then you can go to the BR-110 IPS, which is the half an inch adjustable rib like the 694, DT-11, ACSs, and so on. It is a half an inch adjustable rib. Now we go to their competition line, which is the BR-460. They have different variations of the 460 as far as the looks, but it's still a 460. On the 460, you have something completely different. I want to take it apart to show you. You have a boss style action. So you have bottom lockup, deep relief recoil shoulders into the mono block. And on the action, you also have real core shoulders inside of the action right here your locking bolt coming from the bottom right in the bottom and you have your giant cocking rod right there one cool thing about this action is for example we're used to the parazzi of perugini and Vizzini, which these are boss action guns they have the same recoil shoulder inside on the Rizzini, they are replaceable so it's very interesting because if you look on the side here, hopefully the camera can catch, there's a tiny little square in the middle right there. That's because that part's removable and replaceable. You still have giant hinge pins right here um, and it does have a dropout trigger. The trigger, push it down, push it up, push it up one more time, comes right out. It is a selective detachable on the new generation guns, also adjustable. So on the other side, you have a tiny little push button right there. You push that button in and you're able to adjust your trigger position. So again, for the price point, you can't go wrong on any of their guns. Now let's take a look at the variation so you can understand how the Rizzini kind of goes. So we just saw the BR-460 black gun that is a standard, how they come standard. You also have the BR-110, the BR-460X, the step rib gun. You have the BR-460 IPS, which has the half an inch adjustable rib, okay? Now you can go to the 460 EL, which is the engraved version. Very pretty engraving. So same deal, detachable trigger and adjustable. Now, stay there and from this very first gun here, all the way to the very last gun, it is all the one, the BR-110 action, okay? So on the BR-110 action, people say, well, the gun is 2,700, why would they pay 20,000 for one? Well, when you have to make parts, a million parts of the same parts, your cost comes way down. So the quality of gun is not a quality of a gun of the $2,000 gun. If they only made one model, that gun most likely would be between five and $6,000. But because they're making the same part in a variety of different 
looks and, and, and grades of a gun, cost comes way down. It doesn't compromise the quality of the gun. So therefore, you can have the BR-110 Sporting, which you step up into a Fierce 1, it should step up into an S2000. Again, all the same internals, the outside will change. And then you have all the hunting guns in this over-under. All the over-under guns for hunting are in the BR-110 internals. The action is a BR-110. Then you go down to the BR-550, which is the side-by-side, -side, and then you have the BR-552, which is a side-plated version of the BR-550. You have the BR-552 Deluxe and so on. All grades of the same 550 action. They make it in 410, 28, 20, 12. You can have it in 28, 29 inches. Clay variations, you got 30, 32. Uh, you also made it, it make a ladies gun. Ladies gun is also a very, very good gun. And I'll step back here and I'll show you. It's the Venus line. The Venus line is a round body action. They make it in sub-gauge guns um, and it is on the BR-110 platform again. Now they are also making 12, 20, 28 and 410 in 30 and 32 inches, a true clay gun. Uh, let me see if I have a 20 gauge here. I don't, but I do have the latest version. So this is a 20 gauge, 30 inch latest gun, but you can see it has a true pistol grip and an actual sporting clay stock, the wider rib up top, with the meat bead. So this is a true clay's gun. They also have right here another 20 gauge on the Fierce One line, which is the action of the BR-110. It is a true clay's gun. It is not a hunting long barrel gun. It's a true clay's gun with a pistol grip, adjustable comb, extended chokes. Same action as the BR-110 with the bottom lock up and the sides for the ejectors right here. Again, very happy with the gun. The main key factor for them that I've been very happy with that is always a kind of a, a plus on them is the triggers. All of their guns have fantastic triggers. So look at the amount of travel, nothing. And it goes right off. Very crisp, precise triggers, almost no travel, especially coming from a, just a factory gun. I wouldn't even need to do a trigger job on this gun. It's just no travel. So, here you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the Rizzini video. Thank you.